So, I have my drill. I have this lovely set of countersinks from Armour Tooling, which are supposed to be really good. So we'll give them a try on some steel. And I also have some countersinks to go in hole. So we shall use the countersinks from Armour Tooling to countersink these holes. It must be it in a weld from when I filled these holes in. Must be on a weld here. Nice. So now they sit completely flat. So that arm will sit closer to this main frame. Right, so what I've discovered with these counter sinks from Armour Tooling, which are super sharp, is they like lots and lots of pressure on them. and they cut like a hot knife through freezing cold butter. Oosh! Right, so that's those done. Other side's done and on. So these will sit nice and flush now. So, and I've done, I've done all of them as well on both sides but I'm super impressed with them armour tooling counter sinks well worth it so I've got these back on now you can just see on the inside these are back on all tightened up I'm going to have to get some shorter ones or trim these down because uh, they're just a little bit long So this one is for if we want to put a steam brake on in the future, we've got a boss to make the arm that can apply the brakes. And if not, it'll just make it look neat. I've also got that welded. Got it all TIG welded up. I didn't bore, I didn't bore you with the weld inside of it. Um, all TIGged. Shouldn't drop apart. So we'll get that on. I'm going to leave this end for now, uh, just in case we need to make any modifications. I don't want to round this off and then find we needed to put a, a bar in there to stop it spreading when we put the brakes on. So we'll, uh, we'll leave that for now and get it a working set of brakes and then do the fine details after. Should have thought about this keyway in a better place, shouldn't I? There we go. 
And believe it or not, tightening these up actually tightens it up onto the bike because these have slightly pulled. So tightening those up actually tightens it onto there. So that's probably only the type of movement it's going to have. It's not going to have much movement. Right, so now we're going to work on this section coming up so we can put the brakes on. So we're going to have to do some work on this angle iron. Um, most people, I think, chop a piece out uh, and then put a piece in with a little bit more support and a little bit more rigidity. Uh, but first, we need to figure out where this goes. So I've screwed this in uh, and I've got this kind of placed in the middle of the slot. The brakes are sort of in the on position. Plenty of play in this so it'll be, it'll be totally fine. All we're going to do is we're going to use a square just to get this level. I think that'll do. So I've got this now marked, I don't know, hopefully you can see this on the camera, I've got it marked there and I've marked it on the frames. So now I've got to decide what I'm doing, am I going to cut this out or shall we weld the piece on? Because it's quite strong, because the bar is going to be literally on the edge there. Hmm, maybe weld the piece on I think.
and we're through. Yay! So there it is. We've extended it out a little. We've put some strengthening gussets on. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, then maybe you should consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we release one of these glorious videos. And uh, don't forget to tickle the like button and that will help it share around to like-minded folk who have exceedingly good taste. Stay safe. Laters.